Hey everyone, it's Houndex here, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering the top settings you should change right now in the Lenovo Legion 5. These are basically going to be performance settings that will boost FPS, optimize the color accuracy, and basically improving the overall experience when using the Lenovo Legion and optimizing the best it can go. Now, all the settings we are covering in this video are confirmed to work with Lenovo Legion 5 as far as my testing goes. I haven't tested these settings with the Lenovo Legion 7, so I can't guarantee if it will work for that. We can definitely stick around in this video and take some notes if you'd like. But before we get into the video, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Only a very small percentage of you all are currently subscribed, so please do consider doing that. Also, these videos take a really long time to make, and don't forget to leave a like down below if, if this video ends up helping you out. Now to clarify, I'm going to share my specs of the Lenovo Legion 5 model I have, so you can use it as some sort of reference. I'm going to go through it briefly, so basically the processor is the Ryzen 7 4800H, graphics card is the GTX 1660 Ti 6GB version, it's got 16GB of RAM, clocked at 3200MHz, it has a 500GB NVMe SSD, a 60 watt hour battery, and finally it has a 144Hz screen and a brightness of 300 nits. Now the first few settings are going to be inside of the Lenovo Vantage app. The first setting I'm going to talk about is hybrid mode, which is actually pretty important. What hybrid mode is, is basically NVIDIA Optimus. What it does is that it saves battery life when you enable it. Now obviously when you're playing games and doing like intensive tasks, you don't want this feature enabled because you want the maximum performance. So when your Lenovo Legion 5 laptop is being charged, I highly recommend turning this off and restarting it. Now if your laptop is not charged, then my recommendation might be enabling this option so you can save some battery life. Personally, I never really move around that much and most of the time the laptop is plugged in so I pretty much have this option disabled all the time. Now under that option is overdrive. Now for some Lenovo Legion 5 laptops this option may not exist. I believe it will only show up if you have at least a refresh rate of 120Hz on the display. But if your Lenovo Legion 5 has a refresh rate of 60Hz, then this option may not show up. But as I was saying before, if this option shows up, I highly recommend you enabling it. What enabling overdrive does is that it lowers the response time of the screen. Now if you don't know what the response time means, it's basically just as important as the refresh rate of a laptop. It's usually measured in milliseconds, and you want it to be the lowest as possible. Now when I enable overdrive, I notice that the response time is around 3.8 milliseconds. Now if I disable it, it's already up to 7 to 8 milliseconds response time. And 3.8 milliseconds is pretty fast for just only a 144Hz screen, so I highly recommend enabling this option, especially when you're playing games, so you can have a much better experience and your gameplay will feel a lot more snappier. Now under that setting you can see another setting called touchpad lock. What this does is that it enables or disables the touchpad. This setting doesn't really have anything to do with performance. Now when you turn the touchpad lock on, it will basically disable your touchpad so like your trackpad won't really work when you touch it. Now if you disable it, it will work again. Now the next setting in the Lenovo Vantage app is going to be system update. When you click on it, it will bring you to another page and you can see it in the auto update settings where it says critical updates and recommended updates. These switches will likely be turned on by default, but my recommendation is to turn them off because I don't really like to auto updates because it's like takes up system resources in the background. It can actually sometimes reduce performance. And personally, I just prefer manually updating myself and just checking for updates once every month or so and not letting this tool just doing it by itself. Now head back to the main menu and next we're going to go into the power section. Now in here we're going to see a bunch of settings. Now for Lenovo Vantage toolbar, this is basically on own preference if you like it or not. I personally don't mind it so I'm going to leave it on and actually find it sometimes more useful than just a regular battery icon. And next up, for battery settings, I keep both rapid charge and conversation mode off. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to update our NVIDIA graphics card drivers. What this will do is that it will fix some bugs and basically improve some FPS. Now I recommend updating your drivers once every month so that you could stay up to date. Now, in order to update your NVIDIA graphics card drivers, you're going to want to go to the GeForce Experience app, type in GeForce. Now open it and click the driver tab, and you're going to want to click the button where it says check for updates. Now for me, it already says that I have the latest GeForce game ready driver, but for you, it may show up like express installation or custom installation. So choose express installation if it shows up that you need to update, and it's usually that green button. 
and you're basically done now if you see your screen like flash when it's installing your drivers that's completely normal if you see like some black screen it basically means that they're in reinstalling your drivers and, and you're pretty much good to go all right so once you have updated your graphics card drivers next up what we're going to do is that we are going to optimize the nvidia control panel now optimizing the nvidia control panel can unlock up to around 50 percent of fps so i highly recommend you trying out this method now in order to access the video control panel right click anywhere on your desktop and click in video control panel right here now you want to go to adjust image settings with preview now it's going to be set on this most likely it's going to be set on let 3d application decide most likely but choose advanced 3d settings click apply and now click take me there now I don't really recommend changing the global settings because if you change this and like choose high performance settings and stuff like that, it could affect the battery life. So we're gonna go to program settings and only optimize the settings that we're gonna use for games. Now what now what we're gonna do in program settings tab is that we're gonna optimize our games. Now you're gonna wanna find a game that you play, doesn't matter what it is. Um, I'm gonna use uh, Fortnite as an example, but this will really work for any other game. Um, you can just click add if it doesn't show up right here just click browse and browse for the file but for now I'm gonna use Fortnite now I've already kind of optimized this already but what you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna go to image sharpening now for this I highly recommend you turn this off but because what image sharpening does is that enhances the visuals on your uh, in your gameplay and that could reduce FPS anisotropic filtering my my recommendation for this is off for anti-aliasing use off game correction should be off mode should also be off um, transparency off uh, for the max frame rate I recommend you turn this off unless if you want to cap your FPS but I'm gonna leave this off now for CUDA GPUs make sure you select all and then for low latency mode this is basically on your own preference if you get a lot of latency and stuff in your games and a lot of input lag my recommendation for you is to turn it on and maybe even ultra if you get lots of input lag now if you don't have any input lag just turn it off because it can reduce fps but i'm gonna leave it on for now now for max frame rate definitely turn this off this basically caps you at fps so if you want the most fps possible you really should just turn this off now for multi-frame sampling, AA, turn it off. Open running your GPU should be set to the GTX 1660 Ti. Now for power management mode, choose prefer maximum performance. Now for preferred refresh rate, definitely choose highest available. If your Lenovo Legion 5 has a 60 hertz screen, then this may not show up, but just choose highest available if it shows up. Now for shader cache, definitely turn this on. For texture filtering, turn this on off for negative lod bias set it to allow now for texture filtering definitely high performance this is probably one of the most important settings and for trilinear optimization turn it on threaded optimization on for triple buffering turn it off vertical state should death so basically when you apply all these changes it will only work for the specific application you have chosen it's not going to apply to all your programs, so you don't have to worry about reduced battery life and stuff like that. And you're pretty much good to go. Now, if under display, you want to go to adjust desktop color settings. We're going to basically applying some color um, changes. Now, for the color channel, change it to all channels. I like it that way. And you don't really have to change these settings. You can leave them at stock. But what I like is to change digital vibrance and bump this up to around 70 or to 80% because the colors will look a lot more vibrant and stuff not washed out if I already kind of applied it so I'm gonna click cancel but you're gonna want to click the apply button now go down to under video and under video color settings you here you want to choose the option where it says it with the Nvidia settings go to advanced set the option to full not limited now in the color tab you can kind of play around with this but I'm not really going to because I like it the way it is but that's up to you and I'm going to click cancel because I kind of already optimized this part to full. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed and if this video did help you out, consider leaving a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, only a very small percentage of you guys are subscribed. And I'm hopefully going to try to hit 900 subscribers by the end of January. But anyways, I'll see you all in my next video.